Lesson 21, Curve Sketching 6, the cubic function. Now we're going to sketch the, the, the cubic function y equals x cubed minus 3x plus 1. First of all, we'll differentiate. And we'll have y dash. Let's change that. Y dash equals 3x squared minus 3. So we'll let y dash equals zero, locate these points. So three x squared minus three equals zero. So I've got three x squared equals three. X squared equals one. So x equals plus or minus one. When x equals one, y will be equal to it's one minus three plus one. one, 1 minus 3 plus 1 is minus 1, so that's the point 1, negative 1, and when x equals minus 1, y equals minus 1 plus 3 plus 1, so that will be 3, so the other point is minus 1, 3. Now we can see if we can see that's going to be a maximum and a minimum, but we should test this. So at x equals 1, we'll look at the second derivative, y double dash equals 6x, and so it's going to be 6, so it, therefore it's positive, so it means it's concave up, so this will be a minimum. And at x equals negative 1, y double dash equals negative 6. So that's a minimum, so it'll be concave down. So that's a maximum. Now there's another point, this one here. This is the point of inflection where the concavity changes. Now we'll consider the second derivative and we'll let that equal 0. Equal 0. And that gives me 6x equals 0, x equals 0, and y is equal to, from here, 1. So we have the point 0, 1. Now we should uh, strictly test concavity of the side. Now we can see it's, it's going to be concave up and concave down. We should test it. So we'll draw a little, little table up here. And we get 0. Now I'm going to put in an epsilon on this side and a negative epsilon on this side. And this is my x, and this is my y double dash. And putting in epsilon into here, we'll see we'll get a positive 6 epsilon, which is 0. And this will be a negative 6 epsilon. And as we suspected, there is a concavity change about the point. So this point is a point inflection. Now I've drawn the yellow, the yellow curve here. So what you would have had, you would have had this as a maximum. This is your point inflection. This is a minimum. And then you would have carefully drawn this curve like that. You notice you've got other points here where it crosses the axis, but you can't locate these points for this one because you can't factorise it. If it was factorised, yes, you'd find the intercepts. And that's the, the cubic curve.